facility is required to report data, but they're not necessarily doing it in a consistent manner. Some nursing homes in the Fargo-Moorhead area are pushing back against recently released federal data showing how many people died in a facility because of COVID-19. One long-term care facility is blaming the state of Minnesota for its high death count. Valley News Team's Joshua Pugero explains. Federal data says 18 people living at Eventide and Fargo have died due to COVID-19. But is that correct? Eventide says that number is off. It's actually six. Yet at its Moorhead location, 15 people died. And in a statement, Eventide blames the Minnesota Department of Health for a lag in testing. These numbers were released as part of a push by the Trump administration to make long-term care facilities more transparent. But Leading Age Minnesota says the opposite occurred. We feel this is an urgent matter because inaccurate data can create a lot of unnecessary fear and panic for residents and family members during this time of a global pandemic. Facilities are required to submit their COVID-19 numbers, including deaths, to the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. So what we have um, come to understand is that while some providers have entered the data accurately, what CMS then reported out was not reflective of what was entered in. In Minnesota, out of more than 1,200 deaths, 968 were of people living in long-term care facilities, whereas in North Dakota, 53 out of 72 deaths were at these locations. In what the CDC reports and what a st individual state may be reporting, with the states being far more accurate because states were collecting the data, or at least in North Dakota, from day one. It's no secret that long-term care facilities in Cass County were hit hard by COVID-19, like Rosewood on Broadway right behind me. But the number of active cases at this facility remains relatively low. Villa Maria is reporting 15 deaths, while Rosewood is at 7, according to SMP Health System. Bethany on 42nd had two deaths, while Bethany on University had four. In Fargo, Joshua Piguero, Valley News Live. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services is reporting aware of inaccuracies with its data and it plans to fix it. Nearly 32,000 people have died in the U.S. at long-term care facilities.